Hmm, I wanna try this. And that too. My name is Yui Kuma. I'm a third year university student, working every day on food development. Ah, Lingo is so persistent. I told her I would go when the time comes. Today, I'm planning to meet two childhood friends after the lecture. We study at the same university, but are in different majors. There are many people who are concerned about the health aspects of artificial sweeteners. Should I talk to the sponsors again? Ikuma-kun! Hey, it's Ikuma-kun! Huh? When I shifted my gaze from the list of letters, I saw a familiar woman there. She's not my acquaintance, though. If I remember correctly, the winner of this year's beauty pageant. Uh, Yokume Gedono, a fourth year student, was it? Do you need something? Actually, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. I've been thinking that you're, you know, a nice guy. Whoa, I have a feeling it's gonna be troublesome. As her cheeks turn red, I feel even less excited. Hey, are you serious? Are you surprised? But, you know, if it's okay with you, why don't we go out? No, I'm sorry. Huh? Why? So, what about we start as friends? You can decide after we get to know each other, okay? I can't do that either. I'm busy. Well then, I gotta go see somebody. It's better for both of us if she hates me for this. I quickly left without looking back. He's... cocky. I won't give up, though. What? That beauty pageant winner asked you out? No way! What a weirdo for liking a nerd like you! Bingo Mimasaka makes a surprised voice. The one grinning is Taiga Matsuhisa. We are both childhood friends. Huh. Well, I guess it's just for fun. She must have done it on a whim. Oh? But maybe she really loves Yui. What if she does? <laughs> She's trying to take my childhood friend, you know. If I want to be a journalist and I can do anything, I'll gather up all the information about her and do a public execution. You're a terrible person. You must be the villain of this story. Well, we always have this kind of banner. Well, I'm sure she'll get bored of picking on me soon. Huh, I wonder. I've always felt that that girl was shady. Her twin sister seems kind of troublesome too. What a rich young lady thinks makes no sense to me. Well, I'll try to not stand out too much. Are you sure? You won't cheat on me, right? Just because she's beautiful, if you flirt with her, I'll smack you hard. Why do you doubt me? And are you my wife or something? Then, Ningo's face turns red. Is she happy or something? About what? Meh, I don't know. Ikuma-kun, good morning. But Yokume Gedono started talking to me every day without getting tired of it. Why? Whoa, Yokuma-san, why is she hitting on that kind of guy? Oh, I'm jealous. But even though Yokume-san is talking to him, he doesn't seem happy. <sighs> How cocky. Hey, Ikuma-kun, can we have lunch together today? I made a lunchbox. I have research to do. I'm sorry. But I don't have any feelings for you. Well then. Hey, Ikuma-kun, what are you studying? Preparing a presentation on preserved food for disasters. I'm busy, so bye. Hey, I got movie tickets. Are you interested? How about tomorrow? I'm going on a field research with the oceanography department tomorrow. I'm going to be on a boat, so it's impossible. Hey, don't be stubborn and be honest, okay? You must be interested in going on a date with a girl. Ah, oh, so annoying. I'm saying I'm busy. Then Ningo snapped and suddenly stepped in between me and Gedono-san. Don't you see that Yui doesn't like it? You're so persistent, please stop! Huh? <sighs> and Gedono-san's face distorted a little, and the next moment, she began to shed tears. I... Uh, I, I didn't mean to bother him, I... I, I just wanted to get along with Ikuma-kun. Huh? Hey, wait! Uh, sorry! 
Dingo was panicking, so I tapped her on the shoulder and whispered to her. From my point of view, Ghidorah-san's reaction was as expected. Dingo, don't apologize. She's fake crying to make us look like the bad guys. Huh? But it was already too late. As Ghidorah-san cries, the people around us started to buzz. They made Yokuma-san cry! How terrible! I secretly clicked my tongue, as the crowd looked at us in disgust. It'll be troublesome if even Dingo got treated as a villain. I said you're annoying! Don't you get it already? I guess you'll be working at your parents' company? That's why you're so into love affairs even though you're a fourth year student. Easy life, huh? Hey, Yui! Damn you! What are you saying to Yukuma-san, you bastard? One man grabs me by the neck. Now, all the hate would be directed at me alone. You are the bastard. But Taiga grabbed the man's arm and pulled him away from me. M Matsuhisa Taiga? Why are you protecting such a bastard? Shut up, it's none of your business. Get lost. Intimidated by Taiga's gaze, everyone watching us quickly left. Gedono-san too. Hey, Taiga. That was a bad move. What if people get a bad impression of you? You're gonna start a business and become the face of your company, right? Huh? I helped a poor guy who was being bullied one-sidedly. Can't you just say thank you? It doesn't matter. What if even Dingo gets harassed from now on? You are pretty annoying, aren't you? It would be even more troublesome if strange rumors were spread about him too. Calm down, you two! I don't like watching you quarrel! After that, Taiga kept his distance from me. Dingo was trying to care for me, but I kept my distance from her. Hey, that guy made Yokume-san cry, did you hear? Wow, so cocky! Jeez, don't they have anything else to worry about? Gedon-san stopped talking to me, but instead, everyone around me is treating me coldly. The people involved in my research don't seem to care about it, but I certainly felt uncomfortable. Oops, did I bump into something? Documents fell from my arms. Is he in elementary school? <coughs> what are you worried about? He told us to leave him alone, right? Ugh, Taiga, let's go have a drink now. Taiga then reluctantly accompanied Dingo to the pub. Apparently, he was made to drink a lot after that. You, ugh! Do you understand that Yui is trying to protect us by staying away from us? Ah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. You're so drunk. I'll call a cab for you. You're cold-hearted. Aren't you worried about Yui? Then Taiga sighs and says, Yui's strong. That's why he's so stubborn. Since ages ago. From my point of view, you're just as stubborn. <sighs> you guys are so alike. Shut up. Look, the cab is almost here. I'll pay for it on the app, so go home. Anyway, you just want the current turmoil to end soon, right? Because otherwise, you won't be able to ask Yui out. Shush, you idiot! But, as Dingo understood Taiga's true feelings, she went home feeling good. Ah, <sighs> that stubborn guy. He should become as honest as Dingo. Taiga reminisces about his high school days while drinking. We met when we were in elementary school. But the first time we spoke was when we were freshmen in high school. Taiga was known as a prodigy, excelling at both studies and sports. I was called a freak or weirdo, the exact opposite. Hey, isn't that illegal? It's not. It's artificial sweetener. Well, it's a prototype though, so it's bitter. Artificial sweetener? Are you going on a diet? I have hardly any fat. A friend of mine has diabetes, that's why. Well, my grandpa was researching artificial sweeteners a long time ago. I heard the story and became interested. Everyone says there are still many long-term risks. That's why I decided to create a sweetener that is not only safe, but also makes you healthier. That's a crazy idea. You're a real weirdo. <laughs> Taiga laughs quietly. Then, a loud laugh rang out from the seat next to me. That 
That's so funny. <laughs> it's just a little punishment game. Aren't you putting too much effort into it? <laughs> Urame, you told me to do it. <laughs> but that thing is pretty annoying. I won't lose the next match. That voice, Gedono and her twin sister? They are gross. They probably don't care about how loud they are. He's so cocky and gloomy. Even if I try to talk to him, he keeps on saying he has research to do. What a boring guy. Hey, what about my childhood friend? The twins were drinking in a good mood, and their shoulders twitched when Taiga appeared. Y you Are you Taiga Matsuhisa? Who got the top grade in the entrance exam? And you made a big success in inter-college tournaments! Yeah, that's right. I'm that Taiga. And Yui Ikuma is my childhood friend. And he pressed a button on his smartphone and played back the conversation between the two. If you don't want this to be spread, don't talk to that guy anymore. And stop making your annoying cronies harass him. I warned you, alright? <gasps> Taiga paid the bill and left leaving the two terrified. Ah, uh, I guess I did too much for him. A few days later, harassment stopped all of a sudden. This is strange. Dingo? No, did Taiga do something? Yui? Ah, uh, okay, okay. I'm gonna make up with him. So stop talking to me, okay? You promise, right? Meanwhile, around that time, Taiga got a call from his friend and was in an empty lecture hall. Huh? He's not here. What the heck? Huh? Ah, that idiot has also messaged me. Jeez, he's too slow. Then someone appeared from the back of the lecture room, approaching with a sound of heels. Good day, Taiga Matsuhisa. I'm glad you came. Hey, Yokume Gedono. You used your pawn to call me, huh? My pride was hurt at that pub. I was so scared. I was threatened by a strong guy like you, you know? You're terrible. I was so pissed off. Shouldn't you kneel and apologize to me? Also, delete the recording. Well, sorry. I'm telling you to kneel. What do you think will happen if I scream now? Gedono grins with a disgusting smile. What will happen? Of course you're gonna be blamed. But Taiga is unfazed. To Gedono's surprise, he pulls out a bunch of documents from his bag. Huh? What's this? You've been playing games with your twin sister, right? The punishment game. To make a designated man fall in love with either of you. And once you get bored, you dump him. If things become inconvenient for you, you use other people or your parents' authority to silence them. You guys are the worst. Gedono's face quickly turns pale. She tries to take the documents, but of course, Taiga didn't let her. You targeted only the guys who don't stand out. I heard stories from a bunch of guys who left the school and compiled them into a report. How? How? In just a few days? In the first place, that information is... Well... I'm well connected. Also, I have a childhood friend who aspires to be a journalist. Well, one of our victims was our mutual friend, so we got all sorts of info and analyzed them. You did all that for... for a weirdo like that? There are so many students in this college though, how did you gather all the info so quickly? Taiga sighs, making Gedono startled. Well, anyway... I just submitted the same thing to the college admin office. Maybe they're going to take an action. The more you make a fuss, the less allies you will have. It's your own fault, though. St stop messing around. My dad is the CEO, you know. Get the report back now! Ah, Yui said there's a good phrase to use at a time like this. But I refuse. Was it? Ugh, you bastard! I have to get that report back! Gedono rushed out of the lecture room in a panic. Hello, Gedono-san. <sighs> but I was waiting in front of the lecture room. I had heard everything in advance from Taiga. 
I could hear your voice outside the lecture room. Have you finished talking? D don't disturb me, I'm busy! But I refuse! So, you wanna get that report back? I think it's too late. I spoke to your father earlier, and the people you bribed to harass people. I told them what kind of researcher I was, and who I was connected to. Then, they all readily confessed everything to me. Huh? You spoke with my dad? How? You must be bluffing. What kind of researcher could you possibly be, you idiot? Well, the research lab I belong to has deep ties to your father's company. Your father's company is a food manufacturer, right? They asked your lab to do joint research. When I said that, Gedono-san's tremors became even bigger. What... what are you talking about? I've never heard of that. No way! They told me they put my research and name on their brochure. Well, it doesn't matter. I slowly approached Gedono-san. There were many other things I wanted to say. You know, I hate troubles. As long as I can immerse myself in research, I'm satisfied with my life. I can't care less about your punishment game or whatever. But I didn't make a fuss, you know? You were the one who made the fuss yourself, weren't you? Don't act like you're the victim. Me, Dingo, and Taiga are all heading straight towards their dreams. Especially Taiga. He's starting his own company and trying his best. Don't get him involved. We don't have time to deal with your stupid crap. Get lost, scum. <gasps> I... I'm sorry... Gedono sat down on the spot. I ignored her and turned to Taiga. What? Well... What was your reason for starting your company again? Huh? Have you forgotten from doing too much research? Oh yeah. He told me when I first met him. <laughs> if there's a weirdo like you in this world, maybe I can have a crazy dream too. Huh? Are you making fun of me? So, what's your crazy dream? My mother is a doctor. She travels around the world helping people. So, I respect her. I thought I would try building a company that helps a lot of people too. That's lame and crazy, right? A company that helps people. Well, that sounds pretty nice to me. Oh, you guys! So you finally made up? That took a while. Ringo hugs both of us. She rubs her head to ours. It hurts. Made up? No, not yet. This guy hasn't thanked or apologized to me yet. Oh, is that so? Well, I'll say it now then. Thank you, thank you! Satisfied? You bastard! Wanna fight? Stop! You guys are always like elementary school kids. You're both adults, right? Here, shake hands! The evil deeds of the Kidono sisters became widely known, and they were forced to leave the school even though they were about to graduate. They were even featured in a small article online. because of you. Ugh, shut up! Right back at you! The two then headed to Tokyo and wandered around the city every night. Hey, Yui! You know, you said you'd have some free time soon. Would you like to go for a drink with me after this? A few weeks later, one day, Ringo said that fidgeting. Oh, sure. Taiga also said he wanted to go, so maybe we can all go together. Well, the... W wait a minute! Dingo lets out a shocked voice, and Taiga, who was nearby, grins. Oh, nice! Well, I know a good pub, so let us go there. The three of us. T taiga I... I don't mind having you come too, but... Ugh! Neither of you understand my feelings at all, Yui, you dummy! <laughs> you sure about this, Yui? I just sent her a pair of movie tickets on a messaging app. I'm sure she will see it soon. Whoa, so you were teasing her just now? How terrible. We make fun of each other as usual, but it's fine, 
because we trust each other. Even though we always have a fight like elementary school kids, we'll always be best friends.